the Cretaceous period. Dawn breaks over a world ruled by giants. For 66 million years, dinosaurs have dominated the Earth. But even among these titans, one stands above all. Tyrannosaurus rex, the tyrant lizard king. Our story begins with a male 12 meters long and weighing over seven tons. He's a veteran of countless battles, his body scarred, including a distinctive injury around his eye, a memento from a near-death encounter he barely survived. He's entering his prime, but in this world, even kings must fight to survive every single day. Today, that fight will take on a whole new meaning. As the sun rises, he rises with it. The first order of business for any T-Rex is a quick survey of his territory. He hasn't eaten in days, so it's time to find a meal. From a high vantage point, he surveys his domain. A vast expanse of jungle, rivers and plains teeming with life. Herds of Triceratops and Edmontosaurus roam below. Potential prey. But also potential threats. But sight is not his only weapon. The T-Rex possesses a phenomenal sense of smell, far superior to most other dinosaurs. He can detect the faintest scent of blood, of movement, of opportunity on the wind. A promising scent reaches his nostrils. It's faint, but it's there. He moves with a surprising grace for an animal his size, his massive legs carrying him through the dense undergrowth. Even the smallest creatures know to give him a wide berth. He spots a lone Edmontosaurus, separated from its herd. An easy meal, or so he thinks. He charges, but the Edmontosaurus is quicker than he anticipated. It narrowly escapes his grasp. A miss. The T-Rex roars in frustration. In this world, a missed opportunity can mean the difference between life and death. The failed hunt has left him parched. He arrives at a river, a vital resource for all life in the Cretaceous. Even a T-Rex needs to drink. He approaches cautiously, ever watchful for danger. He lowers his massive head and drinks deeply, his powerful jaws working rhythmically. The water revitalizes him, but he remains alert. Suddenly, a challenger appears. Another male, younger but nearly as large. He too has smelled the distant prey and wants a piece of the action. A tense standoff ensues. They circle each other, a silent conversation of snarls and body language. A battle could erupt at any moment, but both know that a serious injury could be fatal. Even if they win the fight, the veteran T-Rex is larger and stronger, but also carries old battle scars that give the younger challenger an opportunity. The tension breaks. They clash, not with teeth and claws, but with a shove. A test of pure strength. It's a brief but intense contest. The younger male, outmatched, backs down. He's not strong enough yet to take on such an experienced rival. The victor roars, a sound that echoes through the valley, a declaration of his continued dominance. With the challenger gone, the victor returns to his purpose. The wind has shifted, bringing with it a new scent, stronger this time. It's the smell of carrion, of a recent kill. But there's something else mixed in, something unfamiliar, something that puts him on edge. He follows the scent, his senses on high alert. This could be a free meal, but it could also be a trap. Other predators or scavengers might already be present. He finds the source, a dead triceratops, half eaten. The carcass is surrounded by smaller predators, Dakota raptors, tearing at the flesh. They're too small to be a real threat, but their presence is a nuisance. A deafening roar, and the scavengers scatter. They know better than to challenge a T-Rex at a fresh kill. The feast begins. The T-Rex tears into the carcass with his powerful jaws. His teeth, some as long as bananas, ripping through flesh and bone. It's a gruesome sight. 
But this is the reality of the Cretaceous. This is how the king survives. He eats his fill, replenishing his energy reserves. He'll need his strength for the challenges to come. As the day progresses, the sun begins to set. The jungle, vibrant with life during the day, transforms into a more menacing place as darkness creeps in. But as the sun dips below the horizon, a new sound reaches his ears. It's a low, resonant call, coming from the direction of his nest. It's the sound of his mate, but it's laced with distress, with the sounds of a struggle. He knows instantly something is wrong. He abandons the carcass. His family is in danger. He races through the darkening jungle, his powerful legs propelling him forward at an astonishing speed. He arrives to find his worst fears realized. His nest, where his mate guards their unhatched eggs, is under attack. A pack of Atrociraptors, smaller but more agile than the T-Rex, are harassing his mate, trying to get to the eggs. The T-Rex charges into the fray, a whirlwind of teeth and claws. He's not just a hunter, he's a protector. He snatches one of the Atrociraptors in his jaws, crushing it with a single bite. Another he sends flying with a swipe of his powerful tail. The remaining Atrociraptors, realizing they're outmatched, flee into the darkness. The danger has passed, for now. The T-Rex turns his attention to his mate, nuzzling her gently. A surprisingly tender moment between two of the most fearsome creatures to ever walk the Earth. The eggs are safe, for now. Night falls. The jungle comes alive with new sounds, new dangers. But for now, the T-Rex family is safe. The T-Rex remains vigilant, his senses on high alert. He will guard his family throughout the night, as he has done countless nights before. This is the life of a T-Rex, a constant struggle for survival, a never-ending cycle of hunting and being hunted, of protecting one's own. As the first rays of dawn break through the darkness, a new day begins in the Cretaceous. The T-Rex, the tyrant Lizard King, will face the challenges ahead, as he always has. For him, every day is a battle. Every day is a fight for survival. He has 24 hours to live. The age of the dinosaurs was a time of wonder and peril, a world vastly different from our own, yet governed by the same fundamental laws of nature. It's a reminder of the incredible journey of life on Earth, a journey that continues to this day. It's a story etched in stone, a story of survival, a story of 24 hours to live. But the reign of the tyrant Lizard King, like that of all dinosaurs, was not to last forever. Their story is a reminder of the ever-changing nature of our planet and the importance of understanding the past to protect our future. Today, their fossils stand as a testament to a lost world, offering us a glimpse into a time when giants roamed the earth. And though they are gone, their legacy lives on in the rocks, in our museums, and in our imaginations. The extinction of the dinosaurs serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the delicate balance of life on our planet. Their story urges us to consider our own impact on the world and the importance of preserving biodiversity for future generations. Just as the dinosaurs' reign came to an end, we too must recognize our role in shaping the future of our planet. By learning from the past and taking action today, we can ensure that our story continues for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of the T-Rex. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more explorations of our planet's incredible past.